Publius Virgilius Maro, popularly known as Virgil, born on 15th October 70 BC, died on 21st September 19 BC, was an ancient Roman poet of the Augustan period. Virgil said that descending to hell is easy. I went to Shabrimale. <laughs> And climbing up, of course, for many was difficult. And I ran and climbed up. Coming back, there's a Subramanian route. I do not know whether people know that now. It must be some 40, 45 years back story I'm talking. <laughs> it is steep. And if you come that route, Death is guaranteed because you, if you skid, you go right into the forest. <laughs> Watch much feet, hundreds of feet down. So the trick is, as you're descending down, you must sit on your bum and you must look at a tree which is at the edge. So I used to sit on the bum and move, and when the tree comes, my leg will go and hit the tree, and that will stop for the next descending. <laughs> Being careful, being cautious, otherwise death and hell is very close to each other. When Virgil said the descent into hell is easy, because if you are not conscious and you have to be conscious all the time, and the eyes were conscious, yes. We had a grass cutting machine and when cutting time the sometimes small small stones fly boom boom like that huh? and the grass cutter sometimes for him also dust will hit his eyes sometimes the small small so they give him a helmet for him to a kind of a cow on the face for him to cut the grass and if you are standing near to that stones will fly and many a time the small small stones pebbles flew very fast and my eyes were so compact not even one time it entered the eye it is, I never taught the eyelids how to close when a pebble is coming that fast unexpected it closes when the body is so conscious of defending every second every moment what went wrong when you were not conscious when you are not of an observant descent into hell is easy hell is nothing but when you go unconscious everybody knows in that unconscious state urine co comes out of his own the bladder loses its control i was sitting in the flight and suddenly just behind me one very fat man tuck went unconscious I didn't see him going unconscious I saw a lot of movement in the before the flight could take off and then everybody came they went and brought the Doctor and the doctor was telling, no, he passed out, he passed out. Passed out means not he died. He passed out means urine, uh, toilet, everything comes out in that unconscious state. And I thought, why the doctor is telling me that? And the next door, um, chair, uh, seat people all was removed. And then they brought uh, people to uh, take him. By the time he got his consciousness, and then I found it is stinking terribly, yes. <laughs> it's very in a second if you go unconscious your urine your toilet everything comes out body loses its control if that is the situation of course they have to remove him down and then they have to bring the people to clean up the whole cabin inside yes and they asked me whether I would like to go or I said no I stick down I stick down to my 
seat just in the front and they were cleaning up the whole area yes your mind your money your your intelligence everything what is given if you are not conscious death is thy name you are walking like a dead body and people are frightened and nobody will touch you you can go to any doctor any psychiatrist they can only give you medicines but unless and until you become the connecting link to your body like the family sits together used to get praise to grow together you should sit with your body first before you could sit the wife and the children and your family this is your first wife and the children or husband or the children the hands the legs the mouth the ears you have to take care of that every day massage them exercise them warm them warming up exercise stretching it up so that it can easily move when i bought a car they said before you start the car this 20 points you must check before you start 20 count one two three four these are 20 things see car so that nothing go wrong but the damage will come to you very fast if you look this 20 you can run Yes, for kilometers of the club days together, 5,000, 10,000 kilometers, it will not give you any trouble. The body is such. The descent into hell is easy. You can fall down into hell. There is no such thing like hell. You created that unconscious state. The descent into hell is easy. You kept on pushing things into your body and you do not know how to make love. Because love can move oceans and mountains. When the body, the physical body, then the sexual organs are blocked with their sugar, sugary drinks. And without exercise, you're not uh, pushing the body out. When you do a lot of exercise, a lot of work in the field, and you sweat it out, and you intend to drink a lot of water, then of course it flushes out. You have to clean, you clean the house, you clean your vehicle, then the vehicle runs very smooth. Likewise, your body is so fasting. It's a must weekly once you have to allow your body to fast in distilled water. No snacks in between. Yes. That makes you very, very strong, makes you very, very happy. When you are healthy, you are strong. When you are conscious, money just follows you, friends follows you. The God will shower blessings from heaven. That was the truth. Virgil said, descend into hell is easy. So making money is easy, sitting on the top to get a postgraduate degree or becoming an IAS officer, all is easy. But if you don't take care of yourself, you will not know to take care of your family. You will not take care of your own job. And then you don't tell that you got a pink card. Practice to avoid hell. Talk to your family, then you can talk to your plants and birds, then you can talk to the rainwater, then you can talk to the sunlight and the wind. Then you will understand that you have to practice your samskriti, your culture. Early morning when you get up, you light a lamp in the house, sing the bhajan, so the vocal cords are beautiful. Yes, when you go to talk to anybody, you know in what wavelength you don't look at them with an evil eye you do not suspect because you are very strong you look at the sunlight and you have taken the sunlight has blessed you open up all the clothes and you just look at the sunlight and you stretch your body doing surya namaskar you have got your battery charged you can go anywhere that was when you don't do that you become unconscious and then you live in fear. Come out of that unconscious state. The descent into hell is easy. How to be careful? Be careful. They say, Kyoskutani, Gumbatta Gurusai, wherever you go, go ahead, never turn back to look. Kyoskutani means in that, take care. With every one step, be conscious.